hey you guys thank you so much for clicking on this video so this like what i'm about to say y'all it may trigger some people i'm gonna try to make the title very very clear on like if you want to watch it or not but um this is only for certain people here on the channel and yeah some of the things i may say it may trigger you it may not i don't know um but spirits want me to talk about this and when i was thinking about this today someone had actually texted me and i was like wow so it's definitely like um so i'm not the only person who's been like seeing this or whatever but it's almost like it's kind of getting out of hand or whatever and i just want to talk about it and this is not any type of like rant video y'all i'm not upset at all um and this is not because of like a mean comment or nothing too it's just like in general like something i've been seeing a lot if you want to use the phone i mean the, um, if you want to use my number like you can text me if you need some type of advice y'all not a free read but like if you need some type of like genuine advice or if you just want to say hey sometimes sometimes people just text me just to say hey and i text back sometimes they do take me like a little minute to text back but um also so i wanted to mention like don't be afraid to send me like a long message y'all um it does take me like a little minute to respond back to it because I want to sit down and like read it to make sure I can process it. But um, I don't mind if it's long, but I will text back. So yeah, I'll try to leave it in the comment section below if you want to use it. But so basically I had, I asked Spirit um, and I was just really curious y'all. Some of the things I already knew about this um, topic or whatever. But basically, it's like some people could be like um, upset or mostly, yeah, it's like you could be upset because you keep hearing the same messages basically with the reads or like different readers or whatever. And I, I get it, but it's like, if you think about it, um, if, if the person sitting there shuffling the cards, it's no way that they can control like, you know, what comes out basically. It's like when I sit down and do a read, I have no control over it. I don't know what cards are going to show up. I don't know what the read is going to be about. I'm just being open and receptive to like, you know, the messages that I receive. Um, but a lot of people are upset because they keep hearing the same messages. So it's like by them hearing the same messages from different people, they think that the person's lying. But that's not the case. And... Um, when I was like meditating on this, y'all, um, I'm trying to, like some of the things I may say, y'all, it may like, I know people, some people are going to get upset or whatever, but I mean, it is what it is. And sometimes we have to not rely on outside source for certain things or like certain information. Cause I didn't have to ask nobody for this information, y'all. I just asked spirit, like, and I got the, um, the messages and my nose is itching too, y'all. That's I hate when that happens. It was not doing that before I started this um, video or whatever, whatever, but um, usually my nose be itching like when I be doing reads and stuff, but it's itching right now like as I'm talking and I'm like, ew. Um, <laughs> so for the most part, y'all, Spirit is saying that um, like if you do feel like you're hearing the same message, it could be because there's something that you could be needing to, um, like, it could be something that you're not really seeing. It's like maybe you are needing to um, step outside your comfort zone or sometimes people are, like, afraid of the unknown, too. So, it's like you you don't have no physical proof. You know how, like, when you go to, like, if you did grow up in a church or whatever, you see a preacher or a, a pastor um, talking or whatever they're speaking the word like what you believe to be true or what they believe to be true so it's like easier for you to, to take in the information it's like people are more receptive to receiving information if they're like you know at a church or something or some type of establishment where where a person is actually talking to them they they doing fireworks already it's only july 1st like what in the world <laughs> that's crazy but um because i just heard something i'm like whoa but um yeah it's like more easier for people to um uh, receive the information or it's like they they'll believe it more if they see a person in a suit and you know they talking or whatever preaching but when it comes to like the um the spiritual side the um the unknown it's like the unfamiliar 
type of energy where someone's like pulling cards and they doing reads or whatever. Some people, they just, um, it's like they're not really open to it for what they receive. Because sometimes y'all, these reads, it reveals, the, like the, the tarot, like the reads, it reveals like what's hidden or like the truth basically. So sometimes it's hard for us to realize that it's almost like you could get a read, right? And it reveals that somebody could be, um, somebody um, close to you could be, I want to say like plotting against you or it's like they're just not for you basically. And that could be hard to take in, especially if you've been on this person for a long time, like you could be really close to this person. That would be hard to take in and you may not believe that to be true. So that was like another thing too. It's like some people are just afraid to um, to get out of toxic situations to like their comfort zone, especially if it's like a um, environment too. Some people are actually more comfortable in certain type of environments. They don't want to leave the environment. And it's like, you can't force anybody to leave this environment either. So it's like, you know, but sometimes people get mad when they, um, when they may feel like they're being pushed outside their comfort zone. It's like some type of resistance. And also too, um, going into that, where there's some type of resistance, y'all, it's like you cannot resist the um, the flow. It's like people are just not in flow. You're not being um, open and receptive. You're not going with the flow of things. Cause like spirit is like not one thing basically. It's just like, it's like you have to be in flow. I can't even really explain it, but it's not like a, a box. Basically, it's like some people, they just want to be in a box. But when you're working with spirit or when, you know, when you're on your, um, your spiritual journey, you can't be just in a box. It's like, that's not, that's not going to help you grow at all. And, you know, it, it could be kind of hard for some people too, but, um, also too, spirit was saying that, um, a lot of people are addicted to, to tarot reads, which I already knew that too, but it's, it could be like in an unhealthy type of way. So I do, um. And I think I've said this before, y'all, but um, you may need to kind of cut back on watching reads, too, if you feel like the reads are not really resonating with you. Like, take take about, like, two weeks and not watch any any reads and just see, like, how things go for you, honestly. Um, and then come back to watch the reads and see if it really resonates with you. But it's like if you're consistently watching reads... Um, it's not really like you're in flow of spirit, if that makes sense. Hopefully this makes sense, y'all, but, um, cause I did write down some notes, but it's like other stuff coming to me as well. But what else? Also to, um, spirit was saying something about in regards to, basically it's like people's character. It's like your character or, um, also to us like habits as well it's like you could be it's like the character of people it's like they are it's like they're not being their true authentic self so it's like you're, they're most likely to be like a fake friend like a you know somebody that's more more likely to backstab somebody so sometimes those reads be like revealing that hey you got a fake friend in your circle um they could be like secretly competing with you so it's like um, people who actually watch the reads and it's like they feel triggered somehow some way um it may hit them in a different way but it's like they may they may just express it out in anger so it's like they'll leave a mean comment or whatever which is fine but um what else I think that it's pretty oh also too I'm not really sure if I had mentioned this but um it's like a lot of people are not truly awakened it's like the veil is still over their eyes, basically. And it's like when you, like, let's just say you are not awakened, but then you see, like, you could have, like, a friend who watches reads and they could be awakened too. But it's like you're not quite understanding it. It's like something could be just not clicking for you. But it's it's because you could be, you know, have, like, a closed mind surrounding, um, like, spirituality, basically. Especially if you did grow up in a church too, y'all. Um, cause I, I noticed too, it's like a lot of people who they'll watch reads, but it's kind of like they, they dibble and dabble in it. It's, uh, it's almost like sometimes people like secretly watch <laughs> tarot reads when they really, they be, um, like going to church or whatever, which I don't feel like it's nothing wrong with it, but it's like, I feel like you can't do both honestly. And I have nothing against, um, 
people who go to church or whatever, but I just feel like it's some type of conflict surrounding that. Um, that's what I feel because it's like people in a church, they say that the, the um, terrorists are like evil. It's like witchcraft. So it's like you got to pick a side, basically. That's what I feel too. And a lot of people too, it's, it's like they're kind of like back and forth when it's like they really need to pick a side, basically. So it's there's always some type of conflict surrounding that too. Um, what else did I get? That's pretty much it, y'all. It's just something to think about. If you do feel like, if you have been watching reads or whatever, or different readers, and you may feel, it's like you may feel some type of way you're watching it because it's like always the same thing. It's like you never really feel like you're receiving information or insight. You may want to take a break from watching it. But also, too, getting um, personal reads are helpful, too. It's like, it's like some people just watch reads all the time, and it's like they're upset because the reads aren't resonating with them, or they may feel like they're still hearing the same messages. But it's like you never got a personal read before. So it's like you can't really be too bad. It's like, well, you're going to have to... Because the, the reads are general. It's like even... um, It's like TikTok or um on YouTube as the well. It's like whatever you see. Or even Instagram too. I haven't really been on Instagram like that. But um, people who just do reads in general, it's like nobody knows who it's for. It's like it's for whoever needs to hear it. It's going to find the right people. Trust and believe me. It's some um, videos that I actually posted like last year, y'all. Like somebody actually found one and it resonated with them. It was like a dream message. I was talking about, um, it was like a message I had put out. And I remember that message too. Like I still remember what I had saw. It was about sex trafficking, which is still going on. It's still relevant too. So, but yeah, so that's why I put out the messages or whatever. Um, even though that could be like kind of hard to put out. And it's like, that's me too, being outside of my comfort zone. It's like certain things that I don't be wanting to talk about, especially on camera. Cause like a whole bunch of people that's, that's going to see it. That scares me, honestly. But by me even getting up here, that's me being outside my comfort zone. So yeah, y'all, um, I'm going to just leave it here. Hopefully this was helpful to like people who actually do reads here, um, on YouTube as well. And it's just something to be aware of, especially if you watch reads too. So yeah, I'll see y'all in another, well, I may post tomorrow. I don't know. 